Thank you. So uh, w when I was doing this, I wanted to do something kind of exciting and kind of, uh, uh, you know, fun. So uh, Jigger Shaw, uh, I love what he says. The book, the reason why I gave it is uh, every time I, uh, I get irritated and quit a job, I, I usually lay in bed, eat Nutella, and watch Oprah. And Oprah gives books out. So this is why I'm giving out his book. I read it. I love what he says. It's practical knowledge you can use. So I really think you should take a copy. I bought 500 of them. So it's a, it's a good book. Uh, Jigger says, there is a false choice often being made between high impact and high returns. We have both. That's absolutely correct. Right now, active projects and so forth, we've got in the past 10 months, 200 million. As far as our pipeline is a billion. And, and when we go public, we will probably disrupt the industry and, and be uh, the most profitable uh, solar utility company. So it's pretty cool in that sense. So this is something really cool, you know, about the rainforest, magical rain threatened by the logging industries, you know, to defeat the EV, evil, greedy corporations. You know, always these corporations, right? They, they just want to make money, make money, make money. Free Willy, a film about an evil theme park, a corporation that wants to kill Willy the whale because the park isn't making enough money. That's the theme that you always hear. It's about making money. You know, even Pepsi, the CEO, who I love very much, she's like, we've got to cut sugar because we need to increase our sales by $5 billion every year. $5 billion. That's a lot of billions. Happy Feet, a film about how, you know, threatening the penguin's way of life. The Goonies, greedy corporations threatening to, to ruin. Uh, so you get my point. I'm not saying that corporations, you know, are just bad. But the, what, what everybody puts in our minds is that they don't want to do good. But the reality is they do want to do good, but they want to make money. That's the key. You've got to make money and take care of the environment, not just one. We experienced the green movement in the 90s, right? But really, it's kind of like when the electrical cars came out and everybody's like, oh yeah, gas prices were up. Gas prices went down, they went away. In the Midwest, very few drove them. Why? Because you, you could park everywhere, right? There was no traffic like Santa Monica and, uh, and parking and so forth. So it's a false thing. A lot of people do not want to just do good for the environment if they're losing money. So it's about doing good for the environment and making money. And you can do that. So, you know, this is with the nuclear plants where they say it's clean energy. It's not really clean energy, okay? It's like the Cokes, okay? It's not, I have nothing against fossil fuels, but they're not good for the environment, but it makes money. The Rockefellers, bless their hearts, they wanted to make money. They just put in two point, I think, five billion into clean energy. Warren Buffett put 16.7 billion. So we have corporations who are pro-environment and pro-world, donating time and resources. But now you're seeing corporations making money in order to support the environment, but really they're making money by investing in the environment. Okay, so now you can invest in the environment. You can do LED and make money. You can do, do solar and make money. You can do wind and make money. It's about strategy and it's about execution. Granted, not a lot of people understand execution and can do it, but if you can, you can. What kind of profits? You can do 60% in places like Hawaii, where it's uh, you know 44 cents a 44 cents kilowatt, or uh, you know American Samoa, it's like 84 cents. Uh, in places like Denver or Kansas, where it's nine cents, you can make 20%. So it's still pretty profitable. IKEA, they put they put technology. They're in the business of making money, but now it's fine. It makes sense for them. It lowers their energy costs, they make money, and they take care of the environment because we are killing the environment. So, uh, you know, a lot of big projects with megawatts, uh, you know, it's happening. Yeah, VCs are putting in adept, uh, uh, you know, public markets. Blackstone put in $2 billion. Uh, Goldman Sachs putting in. Uh, everybody's getting out of oil. I've got a lot of investors from the oil who are fifth generations. They have what you call... Uh, mineral rights, uh, which means you can drill there and kind of all that, so. LED lighting, it's simple, it's effective, 
It looks sexy. It, it, it makes cars look better. It makes everything look better. And it saves money. LED is pretty cool. If corporations, banks, venture capitalists are investing in re renewable energy, then why aren't we seeing more technology deployed? Technology hasn't caught up yet. There's so many companies. Uh, we capture 2% of the sun as far as solar. So the technologies aren't there. The batteries aren't there. All of that aren't there. I do not invest in any tech companies right now that do uh, with the solar or LED because I'm just not comfortable that they're going to make money yet. Hopefully Elon Musk with his lithium ion and a few others I'm watching, but just uh, very queasy because I've lost some. What's the solution? Think small, like David, you know. Uh, it's all about people. People, people, right? It's all about people. Even the things that, uh, the robots, it's all about people. All right, this is what I think of a healthy company. This is something I built personally uh, when I was actually looking at the pyramids. Uh, area of culture, that's so critical, right? Uh, culture is so important. Fitness, if you're healthy, you feel better. Wellness, if you're well, not just physically, but in the mind, emotionally, balance. Nutrition, eating right and, and, and feeling good. Responsibility and accountability. You've got you've to, when you make a mistake, you've, you've got to admit to it. And then excellence and execution. You've got to execute. That's the key. I don't care if you work 30 hours in two days or you work 20 hours in a day. What did you execute? I tell my employees, you can come in at 10, you can leave at 3. I don't really care. It's about what have you executed. You don't execute, you're gone. Uh, company values, that's very critical. I also pay all of healthcare. I think healthcare is very, very important. Do you care about your employees? If you care about them, you pay it. We're a startup, well, raise the money, take care of your employees. That, you know, I, I believe you have to do it right. If you, do, if you don't have the money, well then, figure out a way to get it. So, so that's, you know, talking a little bit about culture, nutrition, wellness, responsibility, and accountability. And David and Goliath. Okay, uh, so, you know, we are at a point here where change is happening. I mean, it's like the cell phone going to digital. Uh, clean energy in the next 20 years, it's going to be wow. Everybody's capturing it. It's a great time to invest. It's a great time to do it in your house. Uh, it's just a great time. All right. Thank you. That's it.